Hi everybody, I was asked to do this question from Ashley. So thank you Ashley for the question. This is graphing 101. I am going to take a look at the equation y equals negative six x. So she asked about how to graph this. So I'm gonna show you two different methods that you can use. So we'll start off with the equation y equals mx plus b. That is how you graph a linear equation. So we could use that. This is our ways of doing this without knowing how to graph. You could always just use a table that you see right here. And basically all you're gonna do, I just picked some random points. You don't have to have any specific points in mind. Just pick any random numbers that you choose. I did a little bit of negative, a little bit of a positive. So all I'm gonna do is just substitute what I've used for my x's and plug them into my equation and just solve. Negative six times a negative two right here is gonna give me a positive 12. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Negative one times a negative six is gonna be a positive six. Zero times negative six is gonna be zero. And then one times negative six would give me a negative six. And the two times negative six is gonna give me, sorry, yeah, two times negative six will give me a negative 12. So there we go, we have a bunch of points. I should know how to plot at this point. So you could, of course, plot all of those points and create your linear graph, or we're gonna use the graphing method, which means we're gonna plug in our numbers as our slope and our y-intercept. This is the slope and this is the y-intercept. If you do have questions on these, I have a bunch of different playlists on slope and y-intercept, as well as graphing. So check those out in my playlist. So there is no b here. Anytime there's no b, that just means it's plus zero, basically. So we're gonna start by graphing at zero. So that's the origin anytime you don't have a y-intercept. If there's a plus number, you would go up on the y-axis to that number. If it's a minus number, you go down on that graph and do it that way. Now, the slope, we want a fraction. We don't have a fraction, so we wanna use a fraction. So we're gonna do negative six and we're gonna place that over one. That gives me my rise. In this case, because it's a negative, it's actually a fall. And then we have our run, which is moves it at our point left or right. So we're gonna go down six from this point that I made, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're gonna go run over one, and we can plot those two points, connect them, and call, call it a day. Or I can continue, one, two, three, four, five, six, over one. These are the same two points that we have right here. The one and negative six is right here, and then that two and negative 12 is right there. And then I can do the same thing. I can go up also, one, two, three, four, five, six, but then go to the left one, and that would give me this point right here, negative one and a positive six, and I can continue on my journey that way. And then connect my points, and if you want more questions like these, find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, you want algebra, all these are located in the linear playlist.